Hi, today you will be learning how to expand a binomial expansion raised to a rational powers in ascending and descending powers of x. You will also learn how to find the validity of the expansion. And lastly, you will make use of your expansion to find the cube root of a certain number. Without further ado, let's look at the question. Expand 8 minus x to the power of 1 third in ascending powers of x. Now, there's a standard expansion which you can follow. That is 1 minus x to the power of n is equals to 1 plus n into x plus n into n minus 1 over 2 x square plus so on and so forth. Now the, to make use of this standard expansion, the thing to take note is your coefficient must be 1. All right, This has to be 1. So instead of using the binomial formula, we normally make use of this standard expansion. Now the expansion given to us is of this form. 8 minus x to the power of a third. Now this is not 1, alright, it's 8. So what we could do, we can do a factorization. Alright, we take 8 out. So it's 8 to the power of a third, 1 minus x over 8 to the power of a third. Now 8 to a third to a power of a third is 2. Then you have 2. Now here what we can do is we can make use of this expansion here. Then you have 1 plus n is a third. 1 third, x is minus x over 8, plus, you have a third, now 1 third minus 1, that will be equals to minus 2 third, into, now x is uh, x over 8, so my minus x over 8 square all right then this one you have to divide by 2 or 2 factorial but 2 factorial is 2 okay now then you multiply that out first term will give you a 2 this will get give you a minus x over 24 then this is a you square you put a plus so this is a minus because of this this and this can cancel square this 64 64 times divided by 2 32 32 times 9 all right so you will get 1 over 2 8 8 x square plus now you are asked to stop at the three non-zero term all right so this is our expansion so it's approximately 2 minus x over 24 minus 1 over 2 8 8 x square now what is the validity of this expansion now if you look at this this is like the ratio huh, times minus x over 8 then the next term is minus x over 8 square minus x over x cubed all right so so for this to be valid it will be x over 8 must be between 1 and minus 1 all right then you multiply by 8 
All right. Next, let me expand the ex expression in descending powers of x. Now, if you want to expand this in descending powers of x, you need to make sure that it's 1 over x in the, in the second term, all right? So, what I do is I divide by x throughout, okay? Or I divide by minus x, then what do I have? I will have minus 8x plus 1, okay? To the power of one third and I have divided by minus x to the power of one third so I need to multiply by minus x to the power of one third to make sure that both sides of the equation balance each other now be careful if this is a even power you cannot take out a minus one to the power of half eh? because you cannot square root a negative number so after that you rearrange them 1 minus 8x to the power of a third into minus x to the power of a third now due to lack of space i put the equal over here all right now you can make use of the formula here all right so you got minus x to the power of a third into now your first term is 1, then plus n, n is a third, x is minus 8 over x plus, then n is a third again. Now n minus 1, so 1 third minus 1 will be minus 2 third. Then followed by square of the this term. So I have minus 8x whole thing squared. Then I have to divide by 2. Not forgetting that you need to put dot dot dot. Okay. Now so this is minus x to the power of a third. Then what will we get here? We got 1 minus 8 over 3x. Now this and this can cancel. Now this one will become a plus because of minus 8, then you square. Then here got another minus. So overall is a minus. Minus. The top is 64, so it's 64 over 9x square plus dot dot dot. Now, you can take the minus out because cube root of minus 1 is minus 1, okay? So this will be x to the power of a third into, uh, you got minus 1 here plus 8 over 3x plus 64 over 9 x square plus dot 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 now you can multiply this in because minus x to the power of one third then you got plus 8 3 2 third here plus 64 over 9 x to the power of 5 over 3 okay now approximately because you want it up to the first three non-zero term as stated in the question now for question 
Now the last part of the question, they ask us to substitute x equals to minus 1 to approximate 3 to the power of 1 third. Now first of all, you check x to the equals to minus 1. Is it within the range of for x so that the expansion is valid? So x is between minus 8 and 8. So it's okay, we can make use of x is equals to minus 1 to approximate 3 to the power of a third. Now let's put minus 1 into this expression. You have 8 minus x to a third, which is approximately equals to 2 minus x over 24 minus x squared over 288. Now you put minus 1 inside you will get 9 to the power of a third and right here you will get whatever expression this is. Okay. Now you look at it this is not 3 cube root of 3 this is cube root of 9. So how do we make it such that it is cube root of 3? Now you can square root the 9, but I think it's rather hard to square root this, all right, even if you substitute minus 1. Likelihood is not a perfect square. So what you do is, perhaps you can times 3 to the power of a third. Now why do I times 3 to the power of a third? Then this one becomes cube root of 27. The product, you, can, you, can is, you know that cube root of 27 is 3. Okay? So will be equal to this expression multiplied by cube root of 3. Now this part, you know it's cube root of 27, so this part is 3. Approximately equals to, you substitute minus 1 into here, so you got 2 plus 1 over 24 minus 1 over 288. Now this is 3 to the power of a third. So 3 to the power of a third will be approximately equal to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 24 minus 1 over 288. All right, and that you get 864 over 599. All right, you can punch this into your calculator. Question? Now, we, we hope that you have learned something from this video. If you like our video, please keep a lookout and please press the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.